Good morning, honey. You called me here. Sit down. Thank you. I hope there is no problem. Bill's wedding is tomorrow. Wow, that is a very good news. Days are really running fast. In as much as I would like to go with my beloved wife, Martha, I don't have a choice but to go with you. Why are you rubbing it on my face, Joseph? I'm not rubbing anything on your face. If not that Martha traveled, I won't be having this conversation with you. So you want to go to Bill's wedding with me because you don't have a choice? Exactly. I wanted to go with Martha, but she went to see her people. She just hurts my feelings all over again. How many times do I have to apologize to you that I am sorry? What exactly are you sorry for? I don't know. I am just sorry for everything. Where is the love we used to share, Joseph? It is still alive. My matter does not mean I don't love you anymore. That is not what it seems to me. It seems you despise me so much. And all your attention is always on her. I don't despise you. But I obviously love her more than you. Why? Because she's carrying your child? Exactly. She will make me a complete man. And she will be the mother of my unborn child. Are you done with what you called me here for? You want to walk out on me? Isn't it better to walk out on you than talk back at me in an insultive manner? Don't let me start developing hatred for you, Monica. Mind yourself. Can I go inside now? I am tired of sitting here. I feel tired. Tired? What have you been doing since morning? Nothing. I have been feeling feverish for the past few days now. Maybe it's malaria. I'll go get some drugs for you on my way coming back. No, don't worry. Don't buy me some drugs yet. I will go to the hospital to run some tests to know if malaria is included. Okay, you. Just prepare for tomorrow. I don't want you to waste my time when that time comes. Okay. Hi. You now greet me with just a hi. I'm really surprised that you are at home. Where were you expecting me to be? You can see it if you want. It is not going to be like this, Abby. Risa, please don't stress me. As you can see, I am not happy. How could you disappoint me this way? You should have at least let me know if you don't want to come to her wedding. Of what use is her wedding to me? Will it give me the amount I need for my business? That is not fair, Emma. She came here to invite you to her wedding herself. I was not just in the mood to attend any wedding. I called you so many times, but you refused to pick my calls. Can you stop making it a big deal? After all, the wedding is over. Yes, the wedding is over, but she was not happy about your absence. After all, you are my fiancé. Let us not talk about Queen. Now she is married, and you are the only one left. Seriously, I am not happy about what you did. You should have just given an excuse why you couldn't attend the wedding. It seems you don't want me to sit here. I will just stand up and leave you. Why this attitude, Emma? Stop acting as if you don't know what I want. If you truly love me, as you claim, then you would do everything in your power to see me succeed. Of course, I want you to succeed, but not that way. I want you to succeed in a good way. Show me the good way. The only way I can see now, the way in front of us. I cannot do it. Have you thought about my safety? What if that man is a ritualist? He is not. That man is very harmless. How do you know? Have you met him before? No, but he looks innocent. I am very sure he will not harm you. Just get these thoughts out of your head, Emmanuel. I cannot do it. Simple. The bride of the day. I am very happy to finally have the chance to talk to you. I am glad to speak to you too. Today has been a very busy day. I'm glad it has come to an end. Exactly. And it was a success. Yes. And I give God the glory. Mine was an all-night party. Joseph's friends refused to go home. Hey, <laughs> I can imagine. I'm sorry I did not attend your wedding. I didn't know Bill by that time. You're funny. Apology accepted. You look beautiful. I'm sure Bill is proud to have you. Oh, please. Don't make me shy. You look beautiful too. Joseph was not wrong when he said you are the most beautiful. <laughs> Joseph said that. Can you remember when that was? 
That was about two months ago. Oh, I thought he said it this period. It doesn't matter when he said it. The point is that he sees you as the most beautiful. Not anymore. I don't think he still sees me that way. You can doubt all you want, but trust me when I say your husband loves you. Thank you, dear. Do you know where he is? He just disappeared immediately after the wedding. He is with my husband outside. I believe he is with their group of friends. We have the house all to ourselves then. Maybe I should get you what to eat. Are you hungry? Yes, I am hungry. I couldn't eat at the reception. People's eyes were too much. <laughs> it seems you are a shy type. It's not about being shy. I just want to remain elegant at all times. Are you for real? Eating at the reception does not mean your elegance is gone. Well, I can't just eat in front of so many eyes watching me. Okay, oh, if you say so. What kind of food would you like to eat? Just give me anything you have in the kitchen. Why not come? Let's go together. Okay, that's better. Okay, that's better. Oh my god. Monica, what a surprise. You didn't tell me you would be coming over. Why would I do that when your house is just a stone throw from where I went for a wedding ceremony? Who got married? Is it someone I know? No, not at all. My husband's friend got married today. Wow. And his bride is so friendly. I didn't even feel like going. Before I remembered I was supposed to visit you today. I have missed you so much, my friend. I couldn't come to your house because of the whole issue you told me about. I am glad you didn't because I would never tolerate an insult towards you. How are you? How has it been in that house? My dear, it has not been easy. Oh. I cry every day and night. It is just as if my husband has been charmed. Hmm. I am so shocked as well. The Joseph I know would never do this to you. Hmm. I am just trying my best to be a better wife to him. I am positive I have not lost my husband completely. I am positive about that too. Don't worry. Everything will soon be fine. Thank you, dear. How have you been? You're still working there? I am fine. Yes, I'm still working there. I guess your offer for me working in your husband's company has been closed. He would just dismiss me immediately I laid a request to him. Just be strong. This is a trying period. You will get through it. Thank you. Let's go out and have some fun, at least to get your mind off some things. No, I no longer go out for clubbing. In fact, I don't even have money. Ah, Monica, you of all people. Oh, yeah, now let's go for shopping. Meals on me. Shopping has to wait first. I want to be a better wife to my husband. But going for shopping and taking care of yourself does not make you a bad wife. No, it doesn't. I will start going for shopping when my home is in order. Hmm. Okay, oh. let me get you something to drink. Baby, so this is your own turn to show me that you are angry, Abby? Just leave me alone, Jerry. Can I sit? You can sit if you want to. You can also decide to stand. So you swore never to come visit me in my house again? I have just been busy. You have been busy doing what? You have never given me such an excuse before. That is to tell you that I am still angry with you and I don't want you to talk to you. I am sorry. I know I have wronged you. Forgive me for whatever mistake I made. Is this coming from your heart? Straight out from my heart. These past few days has shown me how much I love you. I love you too and I miss you. No, don't tell me you love me because it sounds like a lie to me. Why would you say that? I have proven my love for you in so many ways. I am not doubting that, but you prove in minor things. You refuse to prove in the important one I want you to prove. Don't tell me you are still talking about that man's offer. Lisa, please. I am begging you, save me from this shame. Please stand up. I don't want you to kneel for me. Please consider me. I really need that money. So we can also get married. Ima, do you realize what you are asking me to do? I know it is wrong, but this is 10 million naira we are talking about. I am just scared for my life. That man might harm me. That amount is too big for just a night. I am positive and he won't hurt you. 
You won't even see him the next day. Hmm. Let me think about it. Please, I'll be waiting for a positive answer. Let's see how it goes. Good afternoon, honey. Please, can I have a word with you? I don't understand. Can't you see he's having a good time with me? How many times do I have to tell you to always shut up whenever I talk to my husband? And have you forgotten he's also my husband? Just leave us alone. What is really your problem in this house? Haven't I tried enough to avoid you? Avoid who? Can you avoid me? <laughs> Joseph, I want to have a word with you. It is urgent. Joseph is not going anywhere. We were having a discussion before you came. You both should stop this silly argument. What exactly is wrong with both of you? Talk to the madam of the house and warn her to stay on her lane. Forget the fact that Joseph decided to stoop so low for someone like you. I am not your mate and I deserve some respect. <laughs> you are not my mate, but I have done something you cannot do. Joseph, I am still waiting for you. I want to have a word with you. Joseph, you are not going anywhere. We were talking before she came. What kind of problem is this now? Can someone have peace of mind in this house? You brought this upon yourself. You know we had peace before she came. You are our problem in this house. Whenever you come, problem will start. I am just holding myself from giving you a serious slap. Don't try me. Baby, are you listening to her? She wants to slap me and injure our baby just because she doesn't have any. Monica, respect yourself. Don't do anything to hurt her and the baby. Is that all you can say? She has been insulting me since, but you didn't say a word. Can we all live in this house peacefully? I am not a problem here, and you know that. I hope you're not indirectly talking about me. Joseph, I am still waiting. Joseph, don't move an inch. Since you both do not let me have peace in this house, you can keep the house to yourselves. <laughs>